Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing this uh, crazy Thursday evening? Let me make sure the uh, music's turned down enough to where y'all can hear me just fine. How's everybody doing? Sports kids, how you doing? Breeze Cards, Joe Mansman, Bradley Moore, Amyo. How's everybody doing? Cornette, Tim, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Do I like yours and sports kids ideas for your opening? I do. Uh, those are great ideas, but, you know, um, my animation skills aren't good enough to do all that yet. <laughs> uh, hey, Joe, I'm doing just fine. Appreciate you asking. Uh, sports kids, how are the Gary Carter looking? Which uh, Gary Carter are we talking about here? So, another crazy day in the sports world as more and more cancellations continue to be uh, poured in because of the looming coronavirus. Um, say what you will, but the leagues and a lot of organizations are definitely being proactive uh, against the spread of it, whether you believe it's a dangerous virus or not. Um, seems like there's a lot of preemptive action to try to prevent what happened in Italy here. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild, man. NASCAR is running a race without, uh, fans. NCAA tournament canceled. Opening day pushed back. Pretty, pretty wild. So we're not going to beat around the bush too much today. Sorry, I had to pause there to take a drink. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into dime cards. Because I think um, 
a few people are streaming tonight. Isn't the airtime streaming tonight? Isn't him and uh, Phil stream? Didn't he say that was tonight? I thought he said Thursday night. I think uh, Filmington and Airtime are supposed to be on tonight to talk about fantasy baseball, which is also put on hold <laughs> because regular baseball is put on hold. Kind of hard to play fantasy baseball if you don't have regular baseball. Delaying the season was probably the right thing to do, but it still feels like a bit of a freak out to me. Yeah, I mean, it's going to feel like a freak out when you when you try to preempt something like that, something that spreads very easily like coronavirus, which, you know, is dangerous to approximately you know the the oldest sections of the population but can be spread by everybody um yeah it makes it dangerous makes it you know a pandemic in in some aspects especially for how quickly it spread in uh italy like i think in italy and something i think i heard somewhere in like 10 days it went from 10 cases to 20,000 cases in 10 days so, apparently it's super easy to spread. Um, but yeah, I think that all this preemptive stuff, uh, you know, if the cases steady out or drop because of this preemption, it would be all worth it. And, you know, maybe they'll try to have a season after that. I wouldn't say it's full-on hysteria, Bradley. I think the... The reaction may be considered an overreaction in a bit, but at the same time, the science says that, you know, it spread super easy. It's the flu with pneumonia. Yeah, I understand that, Bradley, which is fine for people that don't have underlying health issues. But, um, but I will say this, uh, and I mentioned this in Deafness stream of the other day, uh, my father has lung cancer, and he's in remission, and he's also 75 years old. Uh, if I were to go to a sporting event and carry the virus, whether I got it or not, whether it felt just like a minor cold to me and gave it to, you know, somebody that's high risk like my father, who is, you know, in the 80 percentile range of it killing them, that would be tough to, to live with. And also, you know, maybe to have him spread it to my mother, who's also high risk, uh, because she's dealt with asthma her whole life, and she's also over 70, she's 78. Um, that's tough, because even though, you know, if you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, it's not even, you know, the coronavirus is not a serious disease, but you pass it to somebody that's in their late 60s, their 70s, their 80s, that's, uh, that's tough. <laughs> this delay is going to kill everyone's betting on how many Astros will get hit, your, hit this year. Yeah, true. Yeah, if, if people bet on the over-under of flunkings. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, for certain parts of the population, it is dangerous. While other parts of the population, it's not dangerous. You know, like I heard kids, <laughs> uh, you know, aren't really affected by it. You know, they might get a sniffle and then move on. But let's go ahead and get into the the auctions. The coronavirus is not going to stop the dime boxes. It's not going to stop the quarter to plays. Let's go ahead and start dropping some dimes here. Yeah, coronavirus is yeah, it's 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 been out before, but the thing with viruses is they they you have a new one every year, you know. It's the same thing that happened with swine flu or bird flu. Those are all just the flu, right? They're just different uh they're different versions of it. So a lot of these versions the human body hasn't seen before, which is why they make them dangerous because a lot of us, you know, pretty much nobody has immunity to them because we haven't seen the virus before. Um once you get the coronavirus, you could probably build up immunities in your system that'll help fend it off. Uh, Tim said, my wife has three autoimmune diseases, so, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that, that, that's the tough part, you know, if you know people that have underlying medical issues, you know, like I said, both my parents have underlying medical issues, my sister, my oldest sister, um, you know, she's, she suffered with respiratory illness her whole life, she's, 
grew up with bad asthma, um, you know, she's, she's high risk and she's in her fifties. So Ricky Clark, what's up my friend? Let's go ahead and put some cards out here. Dime box cards. Jose Ramirez, 2018. Uh, this is Tom Kramer. It's a Topps Gold from 94. I know it looks like Wild Thing, but that's not Wild Thing. And a, uh, let's put Toby Hera out. Toby Hera, 82. I'm going to go real quick on these. Yeah, man, it's been, take care of yourself too, man, you know. Uh, you, you know, if you, if you happen to catch a, you know, respiratory illness from the flu or whatever, you know, you are high risk. Uh, let's see. Any, anytime you're not pulling as much oxygen into your, uh, your system is not very good. Where's my timer at? Here it is. <clears throat> All right, let's take these down. Looks like we're starting off quite a few Indians. Another Ramirez Big League Simber Rookie 2019 and a Omar Vizquel A&G. So for you folks that are in the chat, Breeze, I have you uh, still riding. You still have a balanced riding. Ricky C, I got you with a balance. Uh, truth be told, I don't see him in here. He's got a balance, and Pilly Mama has a balance. Bradley Moore is all squared up, as is Joe, and Jeff Airtime has a balance. All right, we'll take these down. Fiscale sold. Ricky Clark. All right. I tried to clear off some more space so it would be easier for me to maneuver cards. Ricky C. Ricky C, you have 495 riding from Tuesday. Thank you. You have bad balance. <laughs> well, uh, I have bad depth perception. I have a uh, pretty bad astigmatism in my right eye, so my my depth perception is really bad. I like walk into door like door jams and stuff. <laughs> uh, maybe three times the charm of pack wars. Yes, uh, there's a Kitty Lofton, John Edwards, and a Sean Morimondo rookie from 2017. Um, yeah, so if anybody's interested in Pack Wars, it's $9. Uh, Mansman is looking for a contestant. Pack Wars box number three. Mansman's been a contestant in each one and is 0 for 2. He's going to try his luck with the third one. You do get to keep your packs from the Pack Wars. So basically, you're splitting a blaster of uh, 2019 Diamond Kings. All right, these will come down. Carlos Santana, Fred Lynn, 84, and a Simba opening day. What's up, Big Harv? How you doing? How are things out in California? Breeze wants to Santana. Santana going to Breeze. All right, Breeze, I got you at $12.80 riding from Tuesday. Appreciate that, Breeze. Sports Kid says he's having some pizza tonight. Fred Lynn sold to Mansman. Thank you, Joe. Let me get you another stack started here, Joe, because I got all your stuff bagged up. B 
be interesting watching officiating a volleyball match, but no one in no one but me and the teams tonight. Yeah, man, that's got to be a surreal feeling. Um, Eloy was on last night doing a group hangout, and he had uh, Pepino on there, and Pepino was at the USC. Uh, USC was playing somebody in baseball, and they 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 banned all uh, fans from the stadium. So that was a pretty surreal sight to watch a uh, college you know baseball with absolutely nobody in the stands. So we got a uh, Bichette rookie eighty nine, Simba archives, and a Fred Lynn eighty five. Sportsman says, honestly, I just wish they'd let us finish the week before canceling school at a scrimmage today. What's up, Truth? Thanks for hopping in the stream. Did have a great Thursday. It's just been a weird... Since the whole coronavirus scare stuff, uh, it's just been weird. You know, all the news has been weird. And that's what it feels like. It's it's like a surreal thing. You know, Big Harv coming on here saying he's officiating a volleyball match with just him and the teams. DFD, what's up, my friend? Mansman wants this Lynn as well. Thank you, Joe. Hey, uh, DFD, uh, send me an email when you can. I need your address. I got a, I got a stack to send you, bro. All right, got another Simba here, Big League. We'll take down the archives. We'll put in this guy, Matt Harvey, who used to be good. Is that your your uh, email, DFD? I figured it was yours. <laughs> Bichette sold to Bradley. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Bradley. <laughs> All right, DFD, I see you uh, put your cell number up there. I'm going to copy that and paste it somewhere else, but I'm not going to show it. That's somebody else showed it. It's all good. <laughs> uh, let me copy and paste that into a notepad. I'll drop you a text, man. Scott. Oh, you're lurking. Okay, sorry. Not Scott. <laughs> How are you? All right, let's move on. We got a John Lamb, rookie. Luis Castillo. And a Raziel Iglesias from Big League. <laughs> I'll keep it down, Reindeer. Your, your alter ego is safe with us. We do... Let's see. I think we did most of the Indian yesterday, uh... Reindeer. Unfortunately. I don't know if anyone has been to Costco in the last week, but I've never seen it so empty of stuff. And that many people shopping on Thursday. Yeah, it's wild. So, like, all the people buying up all the TP, like uh, Aggy said. Um, you know, people are planning to uh, be locked away for a little while. Alright, let's take these down. Another Castillo. Dietrich. Frazier. Donruss. Kid's going to be home from school for three weeks. Pray for me. I pray for you, man. Hey, what you need to do is pick up a, uh, pick up, pick up some, some junk, junk wax, like super cheap, $5 a box. 
and just like keep ripping it <laughs> to take your mind off of it. So he can't annoy you too much. Just say here, this is uh, for a project I'm doing for YouTube here. I need I need to rip some of these packs. Apparently the coronavirus makes you have to go 30 times more than normal. Yeah, really? All right. Sports kids, would I break it today? Probably not. Um, because I think Jeff and Filmington are going on live tonight. I don't want to impinge on any anybody else's streams and stuff. Um, here's a Eugenio Suarez, a Wayne Krasinski, and a Mario Soto. Those two from 82. Uh, I usually I usually give it a few days so I can email everybody that's involved and you know let them know that I'll be ripping in a couple of days so we get as many people in the stream as possible. Big Clark said I went to Target today and bought two blasters at a ten. Man, that sounds like a party to me. There you go, eighty-eight Don Rush just for kicks. Tim says they think they're going live at 8. Yeah, I believe that's what uh, Airtime had said the other day. Ricky says, I need to be able to make content while I'm stuck inside. Hey, man. With cards, you always got content. Even if it's not like something new that you're breaking, you can always just grab a handful of cards and talk about the card, you know? Share your cards. Shop owner at my LCS just messaged me that he just bought 36 cases of old wax. Wow. Junk wax is becoming more scarce. I don't think junk wax and scarce is, is quite scarce yet. I think like early 80s, uh, like 84, 85 is, is getting there. Ray Knight. Iglesias. And let's do Scooter. Scooter Jeanette. Yeah, Sports Kids, Airtime and Filmington are going live tonight at 8 o'clock. <laughs> this guy says it ain't scarce here. About a month from now will be a great time to be a collector when the card market gets uh, collector friendly in response to the stock market. Check out Filmington's video he posted today. Yeah, I mean, all this, um, you know, the rise in prices was obvious, obvious, obvious bubble. Man's been once tonight. I'll replace that with a Dan Wilson. Rookie card. Um, but yeah, there it it's definitely a you definitely saw the bubble. There's no denying the bubble in uh prices. And I think you're starting to see a uh a pretty solid grading graded card bubble. Um so many people are grading cards, looking for that monetary return. Here's a Reggie Sanders rookie, uh, Jose Peraza Heritage, and a Eric Hosmer Bowman. Um, like so many people are grading cards, like graded card prices, you're gonna see a dip in that as well because there's just so many people uh, grading now. Uh, waiting for Donors to show up at Walmart. Yeah, I hear you, Cornet. Uh, don't get how companies can charge $1,200 for nine cards, i.e. impeccable, yeah. I mean, some people got, got the money to spend that way. I'm not one of them. Um, but, you know, you got, you know, if you think of it, you know, cards are pretty much a luxury item for the most part. So you always have different levels of luxury items, you know. It's just like any other vehicle. You could have a, uh, you could have a canoe or you could have a yacht. <laughs> um, both of those being luxury items, of course. Do you think the Corona pandemic will affect the card market? Yeah, yeah, I think it. I think it is. Uh, whether it affects production, I don't know. I think Tops pretty much does everything in the United States, and I think Panini pretty much all the production and stuffs in the states. Uh, so I don't really think it's going to affect the the release of product at all um it may affect the market you know because i think you're just gonna have less people buying you know especially people have to stay home from work you know to take care of their kids or whatever you know it's definitely gonna affect the economy and all that 
Uh, Tim says, I could afford a floating log. <laughs> oh, we could, but it's worth not paying the bills. I want to see what happens when the FBI comes out with its report. Maybe I can start my own grading company and sweep it and sweep in if the big two go down, right? I don't see the big two going down. Uh, unless they, like, really uncover corruption within there. I'm gonna go have dinner. Have a good stream. Alright, later, sports kids. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, we'll take these down. Looks like the Padre is gonna be a tough sell in this stack. Here's a John Crook rookie off-center. And a Steve Finley Finest from... 98 Finest. Still got the protective coat. Protective plastique. So old Finley. Ricky C. Ricky C. He's going to take the Finley for a dime. Place that with uh, Ian Kinsler. Who <laughs> I saw all the Indians yesterday. I don't want no John Crook rookies. <laughs> Ricky says, I'm going to peel that coating off. Hey, it's your car, man. You can do what you want with it. Machado, Fred McGriff. Machado, Fred McGriff. And the McGriff is 92 Ultra. Take Kinsler down. Put up uh, number one Hosmer. Uh, maybe somebody want a 78. 78 Jerry Turner. That's when Crook still all still had all of his little crookies. <laughs> Crook was a man. I always liked Crook. Crook looked like he, like a dude. Uh, Breeze wants some Machado. Crook looked like a dude that like worked down at the uh, the factory or it was like building a house across the street from your house. So Breeze got the Machado. Mansman wanted the Jerry Turner. Replace that with uh, the old man Charlie Hoof. One nut crook. <laughs> hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Crook looked like he worked at the local bar. Yeah, like he was the. Uh, looked like he frequented the local bar a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take all these down. All right, we got a Ray Durham, Ray Durham minor league card. Avisayo Garcia and a Paul Canerco from 2014. Now, there's a lot of years Paul Canerco played. 2014 Canerco. <laughs> Definitely hung out at the local bar. <laughs> Alright, gonna take these down. Uh, a couple more left in the stack. Veda Pinson from 82 and a Carlos Santana. -na 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 -na. Right, let's grab another stack of dimers. Let's throw old Andrew Suarez rookie up here. All right, go ahead and take these down. So I think it was John Crook the whole story came from, or at least I heard, that he was sitting at a bar, drinking a beer, and smoking a cigarette. And this lady recognized him. 
and said, how can you be sitting there drinking beer and smoking a cigarette when you're an athlete? And he said, I'm not an athlete, I'm a baseball player. I believe that was John Crook. <laughs> Mad bum sold to Breeze. Thank you, sir. Place that with uh, Alan Hansen. Take Crawford down. Put that up with Panic. No love for the Hansons. Hunter Pence doing Hunter Pence things. And Johnny Cueto. That is a true crook story, yeah. <laughs> uh, DFD says, stupid coronavirus messed up my opening day plans for Dodgers team. Yeah, man. It's messing up plans for everything. Uh, I live just outside of Augusta, Georgia. And, of course, Augusta, Georgia is really only known for one thing, and that's from the world of golf. And that is the Masters Tournament. What's up, Void? The Masters Golf Tournament. And people don't know if the Masters Golf Tournament is going to happen. My brother was supposed to come down. He had practice round uh, tickets for the Masters. He was supposed to come down here and uh, see the practice round, but that's up in the air, you know. Air time in the house, void in the house. <laughs> Bradley says, I don't know about esteemed. All right, we're going to take these Giants down right here. Let's see, we got Panic, Big Head Will, and Matt Williams, 89 Fleer. Airtime, y'all going on at 8 o'clock tonight? I just want to verify. Will Clark sold to Ricky Clark. Ricky Clark got the Clark. Clark for Clark. I'm going to place that with uh, another Joe Panic. Big League. Yeah, man. I mean, y'all were going to talk fantasy baseball, but fantasy baseball doesn't work without real baseball, unfortunately. Uh, I'll tell you who is probably getting a, uh, a little bit of a bump from that announcement. And that is, uh, Sony Entertainment with the, uh, with the sales of MLB The Show. I think more people are going to buy the show now because they can't get the real thing. Out of the park baseball league. Let's go. I got out of the park on my computer. I think I got it on sale last year and played around with it. And I'm like, holy crap, this thing is way too in depth for me, for me. There is like way too that that's way too in depth for me. Like I like my stats and all, but man, out of the park baseball is. Whew, there's there's a lot of stuff going on there. All right, we got uh Brandon Crawford, Johnny Cueto, and another Brandon Crawford. Ricky Clark said I used to play hardcore back in like 2006, 2009. Yeah, man, like seeing all that stuff, it's like. It's a good thing, uh, you know, owners and managers have, like, teams of people that help them do this stuff because that is a crap ton of stuff to pay attention to. Yeah, it looks like it, took, it takes a lot of time. There was just so many options and stuff. I'm like, man. All right, let's take these down. Panic Chrome, another Quato, Big League, and a Mad Bum Retro. Message boards every day, making trades, setting lineups. Mad Bum, Soul to Breeze. Place that with a Michael Fulmer.
Well, you said the it may help out the Yankees because they, they have more time for that outfield to become healthy. All right, these are going to come down. We got Sweet Lou Whitaker. We got Justin Umpton when he was with the Tigers and a James McCann when he was with the Tigers. Got to start somewhere, yep. All right, take these down. Moving on. Got Alan and Ginter Castellanos. We got a Kinsler Donruss and Fulmer Donruss. Maybe they should skip the regular season and just have the Dodgers play Yankees for World Series. What? Can't do that. Too many of those side stories going on, Jeff. You got people chasing hit titles and home run rankings. Coy's Void's down for that. He's a Yankees fan. <laughs> But with Void, would you be down for it if it happened like right now where you didn't have Judge or Stanton? Like right this moment. <laughs> Void says, no, 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 not now. So I have to wait till everybody gets healthy, right? <laughs> Victor Martinez, Kinsler Bowman, and a Nico Goodrum. Nico Goodrum. But everyone just wanna see the Astros get beaned. It is definitely entertaining. What's up, Hess? How you doing? Thanks for jumping in the stream. We just hanging out right now. Looking at some cards in this uh surreal world we live in right now. The surreal world in which sports do not exist, but yet the sports cards do. All right, moving on. I'm going to skip the rest of these tigers. Unless y'all have a certain tiger you want to see. Uh, we'll move them to the back. Oh, we got some in here with the uh, perfect forward Hess that came in. How about a Flair Bichette? Blackman or Trevor Story Donruss. These are all 10 cent cards. Anybody near the stream, all you have to do is say sold in the player name. And you get that card for 10 cents. I think, Jeff, y'all should go on anyways. Um, I, think, I think the new news today is worth talking about. You know, even if it's not a, a fantasy baseball one like y'all originally planned, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on <laughs> uh, this whole craziness that's going on. Where'd my camera go crazy? Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. Story sold to Breeze. Arenado Big League. I fixed it, Reindeer. I fixed it. Arenado sold to Breeze. All right. Kyle Freeland, Stadium Club. All right, let's move off of these. There's a Freeland Bowman. Doubles. Daniel Murphy. O. Does anybody want an O?
Hey, there's a couple engines in here. All right, we'll take these down. I know there's a delay on the stream, so if I'm moving too fast, <laughs> bunch of O faces. Thanks, Bradley. Here's another story. These are all doubles. A Quavis rookie. And a uh, Greg Allen. Greg Allen for the tribe. <laughs> Bunch of O faces. It's pouring rain in LA right now? Wow. See what I mean? Today's just a weird day. Very, very weird day. Got up to 88 today. Yeah, it was definitely warm here in Georgia as well. I think it almost, I think it almost hit 80 up here. It was like 79. It's not even springtime yet. Maybe the world is ending. Well, I mean, maybe the world as we know it. Haven't been to LA for probably seven years. Need to go back. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, like, uh, Savannah, Georgia has one of the biggest St. Paddy's Day celebrations east of the Mississippi. It's one of the biggest. Um, but yeah, they canceled that, so. That, that, that's pretty bad for, for a lot of people that were planning that, because that's, that's something you have to, like, if you're going to get hotel rooms in Savannah, you're planning for, like, a year in advance. So does Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> All right. So let's do Trevor Bauer, 2017, Viscal Donruss, and a Danny Salazar. No, let's do Jose Ramirez. And that'll finish off the dime stacks. We'll move to the quarters. Quarter to plays next. Jacksonville, no TPC this year. LA is overrated. I'm from Northern California, so I might be biased. Yeah, Big Heart throwing some shade down at Southern California. <laughs> yeah, Cornet, it was the same thing in Savannah. Savannah, you know, the River Street, they close off River Street. And you just got thousands and thousands of people just all crammed on this cobblestone street. Drunk. <laughs> Pretty much going from beer line to portalette line to beer line. All right, we'll take these down and we'll head to the Codas. We'll head to the Codas. Alright, where are we at here? Let me grab this stack. Alright, folks, all the cards you'll see displayed here are. Oh, it's all good. It's all good, Scott. All these are quarter. All these are quarter. Paul DeYoung cup card with the All Star Game stamp. Jack Flaherty Squires from Diamond Kings. And a Harrison Bader Gypsy Queen. Harrison Bader Gypsy Queen. Those are all dime cards anyway, Scott. <laughs> I expect most people to have those. <laughs> the quarters and the fittest. Breeze taking all three. Says, you know what? Give me them Cardinals. Thank you, Breeze. Sorry if anybody else wanted those. <laughs> but Bree swooped in and said, I'm taking those. All 
All right. Got a Yachty All-Star Game Card for 2017. Carlos Martinez Chrome. And a Yadier Donruss. But not a Master Fisherman. Uh, if an earthquake would break off our area into an island, I'm cool with that. I would rather have waterfront property. Yeah, man. California waterfront property? Man, you'd be rolling in the dough. Carmart sold to airtime. Replace that with a... Uh, saved by the belly. Is that Bellinger? Yeah, that's uh, Bellinger from Heritage last year. It's one of those World Series highlights cards. Or National League Championship Series highlights cards. Lena's working on an extension. I'm going to put my banded shirt and Santa belt slacks on now, Void. <laughs> What's sold? Breeze the belly? You want the belly? Card obviously could go all night. We're postponing indefinitely like the MLB. Dang it, Jeff. I was looking forward to years in uh, Phil's chat. Seriously, I was. <laughs> Belly going to Breeze. Replace that for or with when Puig's fly. We'll take down the Yachties. There's a Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. And a Malik Smith Big League Gold. They need to do a short print of Puig licking bat. I agree. They also need to do a short print of Azuna falling off the fence onto his face. <laughs> Puig sold to Reindeer. Thank you, Reindeer. I'm going to place that with an Edwin Diaz gold. Milo loves Puig. I love Puig as well, man. He's super fun to watch. Dude's entertaining. Everything is being postponed. Now Jeff too. Yeah, I know, DFD. Everything. Coronavirus. Can't even watch YouTube because of coronavirus. Jeff and Phil got to cancel up. <laughs> It's a shame Tito Francona didn't love Puig. Appreciate that truth. Puig is the shiznit. I agree. Puig, do, Puig does hot dog. But, so yeah, when Puig gets to hustling, when Puig wants to play, Puig plays hard. Sometimes you get, get caught hot dogging a little bit. But yet, you know, so does Acuna. Ricky's got a date on Saturday. You're risking it. <laughs> uh, that statement could be true even without the coronavirus running around. There's an Encarnacion, a Hanager, and a Justice Sheffield rookie from opening day. Two Chromes and a Sheffield rookie. If I die, I die. <laughs> Sh 
Shame. Last time we see Vinsanity was cut short due to season ending. See, here's here's my thing about Vinsanity. I thought Vince Carter retired like three years ago. Shows how much NBA I keep up on. Like, I thought Vince Carter literally retired like three years ago. <laughs> that man's been playing basketball since, what, like 90... What, it's 97? When did Vince Carter come into the league? Was it the same year as Kobe or before Kobe? Have an event on Sunday. Still going to catch those shiny Pokemon. Now I'm just getting over something. 22 years in the league. Man. A long time. Long time. Alright, all these are coming down. We got a uh, Robbie Cano. This is a Bowman's Best. From 2015. Bowman's Best. Kikuchi, everybody's favorite rookie last year, and a Will Clark, Matt Williams classic card. That is true, Jeff. Reindeer thought I was sub to you, brother, but gotcha now. Sweet. And he signed on a losing team. Yep. Soul Kano to Mansman. We'll replace it with a Longo, Bowman Platinum. Kikuchi sold to Breeze. Place that with a Chris Shaw rookie from Bowman. Why is Kanoa a traitor? Void. <laughs> hope I do not see you on my stream Sunday morning because I know what that means. Easy. Easy like a Sunday morning. Kikuchi's a fire starter. Alright. Here's a Suarez rookie from Heritage. Buster Posey from 2014. Buster Posey Big League. Took the money over Team Loyalty to go to bottom of the barrel team. Hey. It's the way it happens, man. You know? You gotta get paid. You gotta get paid. And if the Yankees ain't willing to pay you as much as the Mariners, something's wrong. <laughs> uh, Posey 14 sold. Who got it first? Truth. Truth got the Posey 14. Thank you, Truth. One second, let me get your stack set up here. Jeff, you want the big league? All right, I'll get you the big league. Let's replace that with a 2000, 2011 Kershaw Heritage. And a 2018 League Leaders Belly. Belly and Kershaw sold. Breeze. Alright, we'll place that with a 2017 Heritage Kirsch and a Optic Justin Turner. How's the how's the picture on your end? Is it choppy? Is it is it coming in somewhat clear? Do I need to move the cards somewhat closer to see them? If I move them too close, I just smack them off the 
Easels. <laughs> Breeze says clear. Sweet. Can't wait to see Jason Dominguez. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, supposed to be like the, the next hotness. All right, we'll take these down. That one kind of stuck to that one. All right, let's uh, see who we got here. Don't touch my Jock Peterson. Ross Stripling rookie from 2017. And another Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. This guy says, I'm the next hotness. Nah, Randy, you're the hotness right now, man. Your your drawings are the hotness. Everybody wants a piece of Reindeer Studios. They just closed my niece's school tomorrow. I confirmed coronavirus in the town you live in. Yep. Sorry to hear that, Joe, but it's inevitable for all of us. <laughs> two guys that should never stand together, Jock and Stripling. There was uh, two players that used to play for uh, West Virginia in college. And, uh, yeah, one of them's last name was Dingle and the other one was Barry. <laughs> it was funny when they sat next to each other. Kershaw Bowman, Honus Bonus Utley, Honus Bonus Jock. All right, Big Harv, enjoy your game, man. Let us know how surreal it is to uh, officiate with nobody in the stands, man. That's just sounds wild. Ricky Clark, once once the uh, Utley. Bradley Moore says, "Honus bonus is kindling." Maybe that's what uh, Ricky wants it for. Kindling. My daughter's high school might finish the school year online. Crazy. Yeah, I know, man. It's wild. <laughs> Ricky says he likes Utley. It's not kindling for him. All right. Sorry, that was Alex Wood. If y'all didn't, if I didn't say it, that is a top salute insert. Jackie Robinson Day. Alex Wood. All right, Kershaw, Jock coming down. Bellinger, big league. Kershaw, big league. Belly sold to Breeze. <laughs> Jockwood. And we'll replace that with a Max Muncy. Alright, we'll go ahead and take these down. Oops. Uh, Caleb Ferguson, rookie. Verdugo, future stars. And a Giancarlo Donruss with the Marlins still. <laughs> the wood wants to stick around. It sure does. Sure does. All right. Got a few more left in the stack. We'll head on to the uh, dime boxes next. Or not the dime boxes, but the fittas. And then finish out with the dollars. 
Nobody for these. Moving on. Garrett Cooper rookie heritage. JT Real Muto. Gypsy. And Cardinals rookie stars Sosa and Garcia. Anybody on Cardinals rookies, Rio Muto or Cooper? Negatory. Funny thing is, once these um, once these Marlins start getting these kids up from the minors, everybody's gonna be wanting the Marlins. <laughs> eh. It's amazing how this hobby works. Like last year, the hot teams were um, the Blue Jays and the Mets. The Padres, because of the, the four rookies, the White Sox, the D. Gordon Retro, Giancarlo League leaders, and a Yelich, 2018 Yelich. And it's like for any football fans out there, like, what football team is going to be the hotness uh, this fall, you know, in like group breaks? You know, besides the Bengals, who are going to pick number one, probably going to do good Joe Burrow. But what team's probably going to have the most rookies on it next year? Just based on draft numbers. <laughs> Browns probably. Not Ricky. It's actually the Dolphins. The Dolphins have so many draft picks. There's going to be so many Dolphins rookie cards in product this fall. Don't they always have 47 picks? Seems that way. Seems that way, but they've done better. Well, not really last year, but the year before, so. They're not picking at the tops no more. The Bungles. Cornette said, just found a Luis Robert quad swatch relic. I hope he is as good as they say he is. Well, he's supposed to be really good. Like, he was putting up. Like, wacky numbers in the minors. You know, kind of like Acuna was when Acuna was coming up, putting up wacky numbers. That's what uh, Robert was doing. Or Robert. Like, I like when I watch YouTube, they pronounce his name Robert. But when I watch the MLB Network, they pronounce it Robert. Luis Robert. Which I assume is the right way to say it. Yunt 87, Freddy Peralta, rookie. And Ryan Braun, optic. Bradley said, he good. Sexual chocolate. That boy, good. Yunt sold to Mansman. A Jake Cave rookie. <laughs> Coming to America was a great movie. Aren't they making a sequel to it? I think Eloy said Robert is better than him. We'll see. They're different type of players. Robert is more the all-around player. We've already seen Jake Cave. Here's a Miguel Sano, Honus Bonus, Hanniger, and Encarnacion Chrome. And that is the last two quarter cards we'll be seeing today. Jeff said, yeah. <laughs> Jeff said, are you saying, yeah, Robert is better than Eloy? I think, like, Eloy is that, is that prototypical masher. That guy is probably not going to hit for high average, but it's going to push 40 home runs every year for a while at least. All right, give it a couple more seconds on these. Alrighty, let's move to the fittest. Let's do Walker Bueller Prism Kershaw Retro 17.
So we got in this deck more Dodgers, more Mariners. We got some Yankee Yankees in here. Yanksters. A few more Cardinals. Bueller sold to Jeff. Replace that with a Corey Seager variation. You can tell by the black baseball. Corey Seager variation from Donruss. We'll take Kershaw down. Put up a Bellinger retro. Throw these back in here before I mix them all up. Thank you, Amyo. There we go. There's the box of fitty. Anybody on Seeger or Belly? I'm going to leave it up for a couple seconds. All right, coming down. We got Kikuchi 84 Design Chrome and Justice Sheffield 84 Design Chrome, both rookie cards. Kikuchi sold to Bradley Moore. I'm going to replace that with Mariner Moose. Mariner Moose. Uh, let's see. Sheffield sold to Ricky. Moose sold to Mansman. Freeze, you want, uh... Breeze, you want that Kikuchi? Bradley said he's gonna give it up to you if you want it. Let me know if you want that Kikuchi, uh, Breeze, and I'll switch it over to you. Sheffield is going to Ricky C. All right. Let me change that Kikuchi to Breeze. All right, and the moose is going to Mansman. Sorry, y'all. All right, now we're caught up. Hanniger, rookie, A&G. Kikuchi Chrome. You say Kikuchi, I say Kikuchi. Best thing I've ever pulled out of opening day. Oh, you have a blooper auto? That is sweet, Ricky. <laughs> Bradley, you beat out Breeze again for the Kikuchi. <laughs> Breeze says let Bradley have that one. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to place that with a Posey Optic. All 
All right, uh, Breeze and Bradley, y'all need to uh, make up my mind. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what. Look, look, look. I got two. You each want one? That'll make it easy. Two Kikuchis. One for Breeze, one for Bradley. Alrighty, we'll do that. Thank you, fellas. Sports kids says the best thing I've ever pulled from opening day was a Mike Trout super short print. Yeah, some of those short prints are cool from uh, opening day. The pictures. Here's a Gypsy Queen Buster and a Robinson Cano portraits card. Listed as the Yankees or the Mets. Yeah, Yankees. So the Bronx on there. Thursday night trivia. <laughs> All right, Bradley Moore, man. Have a fun night. All right, Scott, uh, you owe me a giant quarter. <laughs> I wouldn't even worry about it, man. <laughs> I'm going to take those down. Anybody for a Piscotti rookie or a Tyler O'Neill rookie? Fittisent. All right, looks like I had two of those Piscottis. Take those down. Jack Flaherty, Bader, rookie. Miles Mikolas, rookie. Bader sold to Breeze. Thank you, Breeze. All right. Take Nicholas down. We got a Patrick Wisdom rookie card. Uh, retro design from Donruss and a Jack Flaherty rookie from Archives. Fit a cent. Fit a cent for a rookie. Uh, how are we looking, guys? Looks like I'm buffering a little bit. Am I buffering on your end? Thank you, sports kids. Yeah, it's saying uh, my stream is poor right now. Stream status poor. It's as poor as me. He says all good. All right, we'll take these two down. And we'll put up a Bader rookie for Optic. 
and a Royce Lewis Bowman from 2018. 2018 Royce Lewis. Zambi. What's up, Zambi? Bader sold the breeze. I replace that with a Barrios, Barrios Big League art card caricature, whatever they call it. Lewis sold to Amio. Thank you, Amio. All right, replace that with a Miguel Sano optic rookie. So no sold Amyo. I'm gonna attempt to say this name. Suyoshi Nishioka. Suyoshi Suyoshi Nishioka. Rookie card. Where he says nice by snow, think he's underrated. Dude can definitely hit him. Definitely hit him a long way. Bless you. <laughs> All right, take these two down. R.A. Dickey calling cards insert. Clint Frazier rookie. Clint Frazier rookie. YouTube he keeps giving me an error on my stream. It says it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I wonder why that is. Am I not moving enough in here for YouTube? <laughs> so Dicky. Mansman. I'm going to replace that with a Giancarlo Purple Refractor. <laughs> Frazier is overrated. We'll take Frazier down. Put it up a Glaber big league. We'll take Giancarlo down. Put up a Donnie Baseball Donruss. This is from 2016 Donruss. All right, Glaber's going to come down. Donnie Baseball Archives. Tiny Baseball Archives. Take his other Donnie down. We don't get the Donnies confused. And let's put up uh, A-Rod. A-Rod Top Salute. Top Salute Legends from 2018. All right, we'll take that Mattingly down, replace it with a Stadium Club Mattingly. Do 
YouTube cannot make its mind up on my stream. It says, error. Stream is healthy. Error. Stream is healthy. <laughs> All right. We'll take the A-Rod down. Put up a Tanaka What a Day insert from A&G. And replace this Mattingly with a Diamond Kings Mattingly. Focus, camera. Focus. Focus. Now it says my stream is excellent. I went from poor to excellent three times over the past two minutes. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Alright, I'm gonna take both of these down. Emperors of the Zone Tanaka. And a rated Ricky Optic of Severino. It is always excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Man, Yankees sure are cold today. Everybody got all these Yankees cards already. All right, home run derby champ Cano. Roger Maris, Iconic Card Reprint. Yeah, only time will tell, sports kids. I mean, Tommy John's a long time. Long recovery from Tommy John. All right, we'll take these down. Schaefer, Purple. Kiermaier, hit and run from Leather and Lumber. Your teammate got Tommy John? Dang, at what age? What age sports kids that your teammate get Tommy John? That's wild. All right, we're going to take these two down. We got a uh, Avisayo Garcia, Brandon Lau rookie. Sixteen. Man. Seems awfully early for Tommy John. Brandon Lau sold the truth. I'm going to place that with a Joey Gallo shock parallel. Yeah, I agree, Breeze. That is awfully young for Tommy John. But, I mean... You blow out that ligament, you blow out that, that ligament, regardless of uh, your age. All right, Gallo coming down. Kevin Brown, rookie card, 87. Oh, when your coaches don't know how to space innings, that happens. Plus, that's the third kid from his pitching coach. You got Tommy John. That's the third kid? Man. Yeah, I mean... That's wild. All right, take these two down. Last two. Actually, last one. Nobody wants this Kevin Brown right now. No more Mazar gold from Big League. That'd be the last of the fittest. Yeah, that's wild to have uh, so many kids to be having Tommy John that early. Phil, what's up, my friend? How you doing? 
Coronavirus didn't cancel your stream tonight, did it, BITG? <laughs> Seems to be canceling everything else. All right. It's time for a dollar to holla. A dollar to holla. Where did my chat go? There it is. BITG is also streaming tonight. I believe he's doing a Donruss break. I saw the email earlier, Phil. Um, it was a Donruss break with a helmet. Did I read that correctly? A helmet? A Jose Canseco helmet? Was that it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. All right, let me get these organized real quick. <laughs> it's me, it's me, it's B-I-T-G. Jose! Let's see, what else do I got in here? I don't went through these the other day. These are the same ones? Oh, no, these are different. Definitely keep Moose safe from Corona. I think Moose is safe from Corona. I think cats can, like, dodge it. They can see it. Breeze, you talking to me or you talking to uh, BITG? <laughs> All right, let's do these dollar cards. Jonathan Davis, Ricky... CNL Perez, Ricky, both artist proofs. Okay. I'll check it out, Breeze. That was for uh, the yesterday stuff. I didn't even give you your total for today, Breeze. <laughs> I'll email you back, my man. Oh, all three days. Yeah, I had you 1280 riding. Yeah, I'll double check it. I'll double check it. Gorilla, what's up, my friend? Nobody for these for a dollar? Castellanos Blue. Skip to Brantley. Castellanos 150. All right, Breeze, man. Stay safe. All right, anybody on the Castellanos? Castellanos says. Mountain Gorilla in the hizzy. All right, we'll take these down. We got a Jose Ramirez purple. Corey Kluba purple. I do, Mansman. Uh, let's see. The Kluber going to Ricky Clark. Replace that with a Benintendi Gallery of Stars. Give me one second, Joe. I'll get you.
Joe, you owe a dollar ninety. A dollar ninety. All right, nobody for these. We got a Diaz rookie, Paul DeYoung, gold from um, big league. Sorry, kind of lost train of thought. I was looking through cards here. You got them two hangers. Uh, do you want you want to ship them? Hey, uh, BITG, look on my site, and, um, or if you want to send the, sh the shipping, that's fine. Just send me four bucks, man. Send me four bucks. That should be good. Figure somebody will snatch up them breakers eventually, them, uh, hanger boxes. Ha, <laughs> Yeah, no problem, man. I'll definitely uh, send them to you. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, four bucks, man. We'll call it even on that one. Appreciate it, Phil. Man, those things, those things were sitting on my site for a good week. I'm surprised nobody bought them. As hot as those products are. Later, Joe. Have a good night, man. All right, 150 Ivan Nova, Giolito Gold, Giolito Gold. I don't want to stay up there. Yeah, man, I was up there for a week. I know they're going for like almost, I've seen them go for almost $20 a piece on um eBay, those Series 2 hangers. No, Siri. I said Series 2. I ain't talking to you, phone. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, man. None. It says they're still searching for it. They're searching for it. <laughs> uh, I just had the feeling that the, the package got... Yeah, it's one of two things. Either the package got totally destroyed... Or the package got stolen, and I just I think that that's it. <laughs> I don't think it's ever gonna randomly show up. I just think it's one of those things. Uh, it's it's just lost for good. That happened to me when I got into a break, like in two thousand. I want to say two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen. The first group break I ever got into uh, was a breaker that was in Alabama. He mailed it, sent the tracking, just like you did, Phil. And it got to Atlanta, and then just poof, off the map. Never got never got my cards from that break. I think there was a couple autos in it. And it, like, kind of, like, you know, ruined me on breaking uh, for the longest time. Because the, there was nothing the post office can do. Yeah, in case anybody in the channel is wondering, it was a uh, uh, Bo Jackson... 93 Flair Bo Jackson. <laughs> and it came back at 10, surprisingly. I got an Anduhar uh, purple and green and a Chris Bryant portraits. Yeah, Gorilla, I, I had those two boxes up on my site for almost, yeah, it was about a week now. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those things, man. You can't control it. <laughs> yeah, when I that first uh, group break I got in where they lost all my cards, um, like I I talked to the group breaker. He's like, well, there's I talked to the post office too, and it's like they, nothing they can do. It's somehow when it went through the hub at Atlanta or whatever the last post office it went through, that was the last scan of it, and like the USPS or postal service handles so many packages a day. They're like finding ones like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> got lost for a week. Yeah, Ricky, mine's been lost for over a month. <laughs> All right, we got uh, 
Arenado and Arenado. Shock and a regular Donruss. Took 10 days to get it, like 4G. Oh, you had to drive 4 hours to get it? <laughs> yeah, I would love for it to show up, too. Shock sold to Ricky Clark. Thank you, Ricky. Replace that with a Jacoby Jones Blue. We'll take this Arenado down. Oh, y'all live four four hours apart. Okay, I got you, Ricky. <laughs> that makes sense. Here's an Arenado Ice from Platinum. Elkanon in the house. What's up? What's up, Elkanon? Thanks for jumping in the stream. Man, I had a nice flow of everybody from a bunch of circles coming in here. Be faster. <laughs> Elkanon says, boo, Ricky. All right, we're going to take these down. I'm going to throw up uh, Mad Bum and Posey. If anybody's into those. Sitting back in new office. Studio's coming along. That's awesome. It's great to hear. Anybody on Mad Bum or Posey? Negative. Devers Ricky. Whose stock is purple. Mm -hmm. Uploaded a video. If anyone has five minutes after we're done here, yeah, I'll add it to my uh, my list, Ricky. I got like a, a list that's like forty videos long. <laughs> oh, all right, moving on. Brian Dozier, Byung Ho Park, Byung Ho Park, Bung Ho Park. <laughs> your goo goo or is it are you jelly jelly like goo sports kids really wants to do an auction like really wants to do an auction <laughs> all right got a ryu red and a red white and blue dennis santana All right, we got a few more cards here, and we'll be done. Come on, Jeff. Let's be truthful. The virus didn't cancel your stream. Y'all canceled the stream. Y'all could have talked about anything, Jeff. The coronavirus canceled baseball, <laughs> which in turn canceled fantasy baseball. Anybody want a DeGrom gold border or a Aaron Judge 84 all-star? Dollar to holla.
Jeff, you and Filmington can get on and talk about literally anything. And we would have all hung out. <laughs> Alright, next up we got a Glaber Stadium Club. And a... Andujar Home Run Challenge from last year. Well, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be about baseball. It could be about anything. Literally anything. Y'all could have talked about tennis or golf. Or The Bachelor. <laughs> or The Bachelorette. <laughs> uh, just hang it out for the heck of it. Coronavirus trivia. <laughs> Anybody on the Glaber or Andujar? Take that down. Got another Glaber, Bowman Platinum. Hunter Pence Blue Mojo, I think these are called. At a three ninety nine. Yankee Heavy Knight. Yeah, just the way it uh way it kind of worked. Actually, like most of these cards that I have that aren't like my PC cards that I'm like selling here. It, like it seems like no matter what product you open, you're always going to get more Yankees. Always. Jeffrey Springs Gold Rookie. Elkanon says, I can't believe they canceled sports. Yeah, it's just, it feels weird that they canceled sports. Like, you know, everybody has their, their dead periods in sports, like, because not everybody follows every sport. Um, Swine flu was pretty bad. It was the last pandemic, but I, they didn't cancel sports for that. Uh, it's just, it's just strange, you know? Feels weird to not have any sports going on. Like seriously, like how many days out of a year do we not have sports? Like never. It never happens. Yeah, man. It's like watching, you know, like that movie. What was it? Pandemic or whatever. You know, it's almost like the same thing as that, except for the the virus isn't as virulent yet. <laughs> All right, let's take these down. Few more to go. Jonathan Davis, Kevin Pilar. That's a rainbow foil. Rainbow foil Pilar. Jonathan Davis, red, white, and blue rookie. I'm gonna have to make these stacks smaller. <laughs> I've seriously tried to fit this uh, stream in like an hour, <laughs> and I keep going over. It's like two hours. Kanan said he had swine flu. Obviously he survived because he's here. Yeah, swine flu was scary too when that was a that was a thing. Dakota Hudson, Rainbow Foil rookie. Tatis rookie debut from Chrome Update. Tatis Jr. rookie debut from Chrome Update. Has T sold the truth for a dollar? I'm gonna replace that with a Kevin Biggio from Optic rated rookie. Had a fever for ten days. It was brutal. Yeah, man, that's rough. That is rough. Like, I got super sick probably back, let's see, this was 
way back in time. I want to say it was like 98. No, it was 97. 97, I got super sick. Like, I got sick to where that, like, hallucination sick. <laughs> if you've ever hallucinated while you were sick, it was that kind of sick. Um, where I was out for, like, three or four days. Uh, I wouldn't say fever for ten days. That just sounds horrible. But, uh... But yeah, I'm talking about like fever sick to where you're like hallucinating crap. Um, I had that real bad back in like 97. I want to say it was 97. But like I never got diagnosed with anything. I was just thought it was a real bad flu. I mean, you never know. I could have had bird flu or something. Or even swine flu back then, you know. But you never know because I never went to the doctor then. And it wasn't like they could have isolated my virus. All right. Dakota and Kevin coming down. Tatis peak performers from last year. And a Kevin rookie debut from Chrome Update. Give those a couple more seconds. All right. Jeff, how old was your daughter at the time when you think she had it? All right, last two cards of the night, folks. Tommy Edmond, rookie card. And another Aaron Judge All-Star. Your Chrome Update box has 14 rookies in it and an auto. It's not bad. Yeah, Update always has a crap load of rookies. But you got an auto, which is always awesome. All right, folks, looks like that's going to do it for the Dime Box and Dallas stuff. And for a JD Hammer Auto. I love that name, JD Hammer. That is great. <laughs> but yeah, that does it for Cardboard Happy Hour, which was like Cardboard Happy Hour and three quarters of an hour. Um, Breeze is good. Joe's Mansman's good. Ricky, are you ready for your total? And I will get all of these shipped out this weekend, hopefully. Alright, Ricky. Let me do this math. Alright, dog, don't uh don't freak out. My dog gets coronavirus. My dog's gonna gonna die because she has respiratory problems. <laughs> But I don't think animals can get it. Carry the one. With shipping, Ricky, it's going to be $12. $12. Your carryover was $4.95 from the other day. And today you were at $3.05, which brings you up to $8. Plus $4 for shipping would be $12. Steve, what's up, my friend? All right, Truth, I'm going to get your total next. You ready for it? Appreciate it, Steve. We uh, just got finished up doing our sales, so just closing up shop, doing a little bookkeeping here at the end. Thank you, Ricky. Make sure you send the, uh, the address along with your PayPal.
<laughs> I appreciate that, Steve. Mm -hmm. Hey, Truth, yours with total with shipping is going to be $8.10. Airtime, you owe me a dollar plus dollar forty-five. You owe me two dollars and forty-five. Airtime, if you're still in the room. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Steve. Truth or airtime? Y'all still in the room? I'll, I'll look forward for that, that video, Steve. I got a very long list of videos to watch. <laughs> uh, what I do is like every day, like before I go to bed, I go through and like all the unwatched videos from my feed. I'll just add, I'll keep adding to the list. And then the list will get like 40, 50 videos long. And, uh, and the, yeah, like some of them I have to skip through like real quick. The videos are the ones I watch all the way through, but I try to like at least leave a thumbs and a comment, you know, on each one if I can. Uh, truth, your total with shipping is $8 and 10 cents. Oh, you're not going to put it out for a few weeks? Oh, okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. I didn't know, like, you were going to, like, do it or release it today. <laughs> Appreciate it, Truth. Um, as soon as I get... And Truth, when you send payment, make sure you send your address as well. Um, and then I'll get all these cards out to you this weekend. If I can. If not, it'll be early next week. As long as we still have postal service running. Uh, my next cardboard happy hour will probably be next Tuesday. Uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to try to do it twice a week. I'm going to try to do Tuesdays and Thursdays because I kind of like those days uh, for streaming at this time. And I will try to stream, do my best to streamline it, streamline it into an hour. Um, but appreciate everybody stopping by. If you all have any questions for me, feel free to email me at cardobvious at gmail.com. Um, feel free to reach out. And, uh, yeah, we could talk anything out. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, about any of my auctions, any of my sales, if you have questions about YouTube, if you just have questions in general, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to let you all go for the night. hope you all have a great weekend. Stay safe out there, folks. Um, take care of yourselves. Check on your families. Uh, I know it sucks not having sports, but, um, yeah, the best we could do is just weather through it. And, uh, you know, life goes on. And we'll come out on this other side a-okay and we'll have sports again <laughs> all right everybody y'all have a good night